in first grade, so we're going to do some time today. And so um, I know that you might not have analog clocks at home. You might have digital clocks more at home. But an analog clock is the round clock that we use in our classroom. So it's important to be able to understand how to tell time using that clock. Um, I wish I had a practice clock that we do in our classrooms, but I don't. So we're just going to go ahead and make a clock and then do some different times using it. So I'll show you the fast way I make a clock. So I have a circle here. I do 12 on the top. I do 6 directly down below. 3 about right here. And then 9 going directly across from the 3. And then I fill in the other numbers. So I have 1 and 2. I have 4 and 5. 7 and 8. 10 and 11. And then the dot right here. So our hour hand is the hand that is the smallest hand. Um, so that number is going to be 1 through 12 on our clock. When we do the minute hand, the minute hand is going to be the longer hand and it's going to cover over the numbers. Um, so in first grade, we learned how to count by hours, um, count by half hours, count um, to the quarter hour every 15 minutes, and then um, count every five minutes, and then you get to the part where it's like every single minute. We don't have the tiny little lines for every single minute, but on our practice clocks in class, we do have those dots so you can figure out your time every minute. So I'm going to write the time the digital way, and that's usually the times that you'll see like on your microwave or your oven or your alarm clock. A lot of you probably have digital clocks. So we're going to do the time 520. So our first number is our hour hand, and that's the short number. So we're going to put it on our 5. So we just kind of go like this, and then I do like a little triangle at the end, make my arrow. So it's pointing at the 5. It's not touching it. Our minute hand is 20. Remember, we learned counting our numbers by fives, and we'll stop at 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So our minute hand goes over the number, and we'll do a little triangle there as our arrow. So that shows the time 5, 20. Um, I did forget to tell you. So when you do your number, the minute hand, like 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, up to an hour, that's kind of what we call the danger zone. So our hour hand starts to go to the next hour. So sometimes you'll see that hour hand like in the middle of two numbers. You're always going to go by the number it's leaving, not the number it's going to yet, okay? So for example, let's do a time. Um, gonna have to erase my little four because that minute hand went over the four. No worries, we just write it again. So let's do another time. So for example, let's do um, 350. So 50 is gonna be over here in our danger zone. So when we write three, it's actually gonna be in between the three and the four. So when we do our hour hand, leaving the three and going to the four. So it's kind of in the middle. So we're doing that. But we're always saying three because it's the number it's leaving. It's leaving the three. So now let's go to 50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So then our minute hand is going to go over the 10. Put our little arrow there. So that makes 350. Let's try one more. One more really fast. again because that little minute hand went over okay so let's do let's do what time 11 let's do 11 35 all right so our hour hand right here 11 but remember it's in our danger zone so we're going to do a little bit in between the 11 and 12 but it's 11 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So right here over the 7. Do our little arrow. So that shows 11, 
35. It's leaving the 11, going to the 12. It's not 12 o'clock yet. Not yet. You have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 more minutes before it becomes 12 o'clock. So, great. So there we go with time. So just remember, if that hour hand is in between two numbers, you always say the number that it's leaving. Okay? All right, so practice those fives going around. So that's why right. it's really important to learn those counting by fives. We practice that a lot at the beginning of first grade. Um, so you can do your times now to the hour, to the half hour, every 15 minutes, and to every five minutes. And if we had a different clock, or practice clock, we could do it to every minute, which I know that you can do now. So have fun doing time, great job. Oh, remember, if you don't have a clock like this at home, you can always make one out of a paper plate. Um, I got an idea on Pinterest. So Pinterest has an idea of how to make a paper plate analog clock, and then um, you can use little sticks for your hour hand and your minute hand. So make sure you have a little one for your hour hand and then a 